Describing matter. Objectives. Define matter. Describe the characteristics of the three common states of matter. Name the phase changes that matter undergoes. Distinguish between endothermic and exothermic reactions. And finally, describe the energy changes that accompany the phase changes matter undergoes. What is matter? Matter is anything that has mass and volume. Mass is the measure reflecting the amount of matter, while volume is the amount of space that a substance or object occupies. How can we describe the three common states of matter? The three common states of matter are solids, liquids, and gases, and they can be abbreviated as S, L, and G. Solids have definite shape and definite volume, while liquids have no definite shape. They take the shape of the container. However, the volume is definite. While gases, on the other hand, has no definite shape and no definite volume, they actually expand to occupy the entire container. The solid particles are fixed, they're uniform, they are very close and move very slow. Liquids, on the other hand, their particles are random, close, and move moderately, while gases' particles are random, very far apart, and move very fast. Examples of solids are ice, salt, and copper. Examples of liquids are water, oil, and vinegar, while examples of gases are water vapor, helium, and air. These are the common states of matter and the char their characteristics. What are the phase changes that matter undergoes? As a solid sample goes to a liquid, it undergoes melting. And as a liquid goes back to form a solid, it is called freezing. When a liquid goes to become a gas, it can be called boiling or vaporization. When a gas goes back to form a liquid, it is called condensation. In addition, a solid can go directly to a gas, and this process is called sublimation. And going back from a gas directly to a solid is called deposition. Iodine and dry ice or solid carbon dioxide are examples of substances that undergo sublimation. How can we distinguish between endothermic and exothermic reactions? Here we have a sample with an initial temperature, and after a reaction, the temperature increased. Heat was released to the surroundings, and that causes the temperature in the thermometer to increase. This is known as an exothermic reaction. The liquid solution released heat to the environment, the surroundings, the thermometer absorbed it and its temperature increased. If heat is absorbed from the surroundings, there would be a decrease in the temperature in the thermometer, and this is called endothermic reaction. Note, the thermometer is part of the surroundings. Therefore, if heat is released by the reaction, then it will show an increase in temperature. To help you further, imagine your hand is a thermometer. The initial temperature from the beaker would be cool or less compared to the final temperature where your hand will feel warmer. How can we describe the energy changes that accompany the phase changes matter undergoes? As you go from a solid to a liquid to a gas, or directly from a solid to a gas, the particles get further apart. They gain energy from the surroundings for the particles to become farther apart and move faster. Since they're absorbing heat from the surroundings, these are known as endothermic reaction. Melting, boiling or vaporization, and sublimation are all endothermic reactions. While condensation, freezing, and deposition is exothermic, heat is released by the system to the surroundings as the particles go from a gas to a liquid and then more heat is released as a liquid particles goes to form solid.